Dear students, welcome to Divya Smart Solutions. Today we are going to discuss chapter 4, Practical Geometry, Exercise 4.2. Question number 1. Construct quadrilateral LIFT, LI4, IF3, TL, LF and IT is given. We need to construct a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means four-sided figure, right? So first we can draw a rough figure. Any shape you can draw. Four-sided figure, then we can mark L, I, F, T and L I is 4 and I F is 3 cm T L T L is 2.5 L F L F means this one diagonal L F is 4.5 and I T I T means this diagonal I T is 4 so we need to construct this figure collateral so here the base we can take it as li 4 cm right first we can draw the base li equal to 4 cm we can mark l i 4 cm see from this l to t how much is the distance 2.5 then here is one more point of intersection which you want it it is 4.5 this point of intersection means what we will get we will get the point t right so from l to t first we can take we can draw an arc of 2.5 centimeter 2.5 in compass we can take 2.5 from l we can draw one arc okay next here we will get the point D, but we don't know the point exactly, right? So, what is the point of next point of intersection? FT is there, but we don't know the measurement and we don't know the point F also. But we know the point I, right? I to T distance is 4.5. So, we can take IT is 4 cm only, right? LF is, uh, IT is 4 cm. So, we can take 4 cm. it 4 cm here we got the point of intersection this point of intersection is t right so this one we can mark and this is mark it as t so we can join l to t l, l t is how much 2.5 cm next we can join it it is 4 cm we can write 4 cm. So we can check also our measurement or, or drawing is correct. This is 4 cm. This is 2.5 cm exactly. Okay. Next which one is missing? F is missing. Right. So I to F is how much? 3. So we can take 3. three. Then I as center we can draw an arc. Next is the point of intersection. T to F is there but the measurement is not given. So we are not able to draw this one. Next one is which one? L to F is the next point of intersection. L, LF is how much? 4.5. So we can take 4.5. 4.5 and we can cut the arc. That is from L. L. So this point of intersection is called a F. So we can mark it as F yes, correct. Now we can join LF. Now we can join TF. T to F also we can join. This IF is 3 cm. Next day LF. LF is 4.5 cm also. LF is 4.5 cm. This IF is 3 cm. This is our required figure LIFT. Okay. Next. Construct quadrilateral gold. That is also a quadrilateral means four sided figure. Any figure we can draw. We can mark G O L D and OL is 7. OL is 7.5. And GL, G to L, GL is 6 cm and GD, GD means this one, 
GD is 6 cm LD. LD is 5 cm and OD. OD is 10 cm. So using this we are going to draw the figure. Suppose here we are taking geo means the geo measurement is not given. Correct. So we can take LD as base first. We can take this reverse, this ulta figure. That means LD we can take it as base. LD is how much? 5 cm. LD we can mark LD not LD DL right D sorry DL is 5 cm D to L is 5 cm next D to G 6 cm is there next what is the point of intersection LD right LD 6 cm is given LD is 6 L, uh, LD is sorry LG LG is 6 cm, uh, DG is 6 cm. So, this is a point of intersection for the point G, right? From G, uh, D, we can take an arc, draw an arc of 6 cm. D, D to G, DG is 6 cm, correct? DG, GD is 6 cm. So, from D, we can draw one arc 6 cm. Next, what is the point of intersection to D? LD is there, correct. L2, sorry, this is uh, DG only. This is a point for intersection for G, not for D. G is there. Next point of intersection to G is which one? OG is there, but we don't know the measurement of OG. But the point O also we don't know. Next, which one we know from L? L to G, what is the measurement? 6. LG is 6 cm, right? GL is 6 cm. So, from L also we can draw a arc of 6 cm that point of intersection is called which one G that one we can mark it as G ok now we can join so what is this one DG DG is 6 cm we can verify DG is 6 s yes, that is 6 cm next this one is LG LG is how much L where is that one LG LG is 6 cm we can verify here also that is 6 or not. Yes, this is exactly 6. That means our construction is exactly correct, right? This one also we can mark it as 6 centimeter. Okay. Then which one is remaining? O is remaining, right? So from where D to O is there, D O, that means O D, how much it is? 10, right? Next, uh, for the, the O point of intersection is L. L is 7, L, L O is 7.5, right? L2O. The somewhere the O will come. So L2O is 1.5. We know. First we can draw that one. LO. LO is 7.5. LO. L2O. From AL, some line is there. We don't know the point of intersection. Next, we need the intersection point. Correct. For O, which line is coming? From D, one line is coming. That is how much? That is 10 cm. That is DO. We can take it as 10 cm. Ten centimeter. That is from, we are going to find the point O. Right. So, D. Now, we got the point O. So, what is DO? DO, that is OD is 10 cm. We can join and verify. That is 10 cm or not. See, this is 10 cm. Correct. Next, L, O. O, L is 7.5. Correct. That is also correct. 7.5. Next, we can join GO. Now we got the figure, right? So we can mark the remaining points. LO is 7.5 cm. And this one, DO. DO is 10 cm. This one we can measure. How much it will come? This is come as 4.5. 4.5. So no need to write. Suppose they are asking find, um, find the measurement of DO means you need to write the measurement. Otherwise, you can just draw the figure here. They are asking just to construct the code letter gold G-O-L-D. Now, we construct the code letter G-O-L-D.
This is the figure. Construct rhombus B E N D B N 5.6 D E 6.5. We can first we can draw a rhombus. Rhombus means all the four sides are equal. Okay. So like this, we are going to construct the rhombus. Then we can mark it B E N D. Correct. B N. B N is that is a diagonal, right? How much it is? 5.6 and DE that is also another diagonal diagonal is 6.5 the sides are not given so using this diagonal we are going to construct a rhombus once you get the figure you need to measure the sides if all the four sides are equal, equal means what your construction is perfectly correct right so how we can draw this one means this BN first we can draw the diagonal BN okay then what is the uh, properties of diagonals of rhombus? The diagonals of the rhombus bisect each other. Bisect each other means cut into two equal parts at which angle at a 90 degree. Correct. So diagonals of the rhombus bisect each other at a 90 degree. So first we can draw the this B and we can draw. B and I am taking it as uh, that one is 5.6. Five point six. Okay, that one we can mark it as B N five point six centimeter. Next, the condition means diagonals of the rhombus bisect each other at a ninety degree. So here we are going to find the perpendicular bisector of this B N. How we can draw the perpendicular bisect? More than half of this we need to take right. B N is five point six. More than half we can take. In both the top and the bottom, we can draw the R. That point of intersection is the perpendicular bisector. Correct. Now, these points. We can join these two points. We can use total lines. We are, but why means we are not using the exact lines. Here we are going to find the points. So this is a perpendicular bisect. This is cut into two equal parts also. 5.6 half is how much it will come? 2.8. 2 2.8 will come right? Yes, correct. This is 2.8. Exactly 2.8. So this uh, this is a perpendicular bisector BN. Now what is this uh, DE? DE the full length is 6.5. So this is bisect each other. Bisect each other means what? Diagonals. By diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. Bisect means cut into two equal parts. This becomes cut into two equal parts. Next is also a cutting, right? So this this is B and means what? The half portion up, half portion down, right? So the full length is 6.5. So we need to take the half portion on the top, half portion on the down. So what is the half of 6.5? We need to find out 6.5 by 2. Why? Because diagonal bisect each other. 6.5 half is 3.25 centimeter okay 6 half is 3 uh, 5 half is 2.25 right so this 3.25 we need to take 3.25 so 3.2 we can take 3.1 in between 3.2 and 3.3 we can take the measurement Okay, this is the 3.25 measurement. Then this is the point of intersection, right? This from this point, we can draw an arc over here and down also. This point of intersection is called, the top point is called the D. This is D and this point. Here it is intersecting on the perpendicular bisector on the point E. Now we can check the full length is 6.5 or not. See, this is full length is 6.5. That means our construction is correct only. Now we can join these points. Now we got this one. B and we got ED we got. Now we can join these sides. This is a rhombus. 
B E N D is the wrong box. Now we can verify. How we can verify if all the sides are equal length means what we can conclude our construction is correct. So we can verify the side length. Four, 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 four. So all the four sides are four centimeter. No need to write. We just need to construct the bent rhombus. So our construction is correct.